Check this out, guys. June 1st. And we have, I see reflections more than anything, 31 degrees outside, June 1st. I did not expect that. We planted yesterday, and now we had a freeze. I see frost on the ground. Oh boy, different world here. Way different world here. And I did not see that coming. There was no warnings, no, no nothing. You usually get a, um, a weather warning, a frost warning on the um, phone app, on the weather app. I did not get a warning. So I hope everything will be okay out there. Hey guys, I don't know if you can see this uh, reflection here in this house is bad. 70 outside now, after freezing last night. Uh, we went to town to get more plants to start our garden again. Nobody anywhere Anywhere we talked to and we went around Heard about a freeze last night. Nobody heard any warnings. Nobody heard anything about a freeze last night And it's been in the 40s and 50s for there the temperature is still gaining It's been in the 40s and 50s for 10 days at night and uh, We had a surprise freeze so that's sad There's nothing we can do. We have to start over again. We couldn't have known I checked my phone. I have two apps on my phone, two weather apps. Neither one gave me any indication of a freeze last night. Melanie checked her weather yesterday on her phone. No indication of a freeze last night. There's nothing we could have done. So, uh, attempt number three at starting a garden. Take you outside. Attempt number three at raising a garden. We bought plants. The first 300 seedlings we had were destroyed by critters when we put them out in the sun. Um, this we're new to this environment so I wasn't aware of little creatures that come out of the ground at night and eat your plants um, they're like little gophers so we lost to them and then we planted a garden yesterday after a week after everybody told us to plant and we had a freeze although nobody else did so we lost all those plants so attempt number three uh, we got a discount on flats just for the asking um, it is in the season for planting here, so they gave us a discount on three flats. So we're going to plant them. Over here, I've got some happy little birdies. The broilers are getting big. That's uh, these. They don't move much. They lay on their side, and if I can get one that's standing up, see the little birds um, are all, there's a couple of brothers moving. They move a couple steps, and then they drop down. Look at the size of those feet on that bird. The broilers have thick, thick legs, and then they move a couple steps and lay down. Watch that bird. And they're wobbly on their feet already. Really wobbly on their feet. Now there's one broiler. No, that's not it. There's one broiler that's broiler that likes to play around a little bit and fly, but um, the others, for the most part, are not moving much, and they're two weeks old now. The broilers are uh, two and a half weeks, so they take a few steps and flop. They don't move much, and the other birds, um, they fly and they play and they run. Um, you know, it's sad. The broilers, that's just how they're, that's their nature. That is how it is. Um, they often fall asleep with their head in the food bowl. There's the one broiler that likes to play. Just flew over there. The one broiler is stretching its wings and likes to play. All the birds are getting the same treatment and the same life and the same quality of life and conditions. They get fresh um, grass and uh, insects during the day. I move them around every day. They have plenty of space to explore and play and jump and stand on things and fly. So that's good. When they get bigger I'll have chicken tractors built for them but for now this is sufficient. Um, at night they go in the big carrier in the house but we hope to end that um, today because I'm going to try to finish the chicken coop today for them and get it prepared for them to stay out there permanently and then come out here in a day so 
Um, they're all having a good life, all equally treated. And um, then, you know, when, when the time comes that they get too big for their legs, then you have to eat them. That is just how it is. I don't like it. I think it's really sad, but that is how it is. Well, guys, <clears throat> they're done. They're gone. I just had no way of knowing. We waited until after the holiday when everybody said to plant. We had no way of knowing. Look at that, they're already turning brown. Completely laid out on the ground. Just, it's really sickening. Uh, the weather app didn't show us anything. There's no way we could have known. There's just nothing I could have done. I have a weather station. Um, there's just nothing, the weather, the news, nothing told us anything at all. So, I don't know if some of these are still standing a little bit, if they'll recover. Obviously, the, we'll find out by the end of the day what's going to recover, what's not. But most of them are done. Um, the chilies. The, the leaves have turned to a, a weak limp. See, the, the stems have bent. And the leaves have, their stems have collapsed. And there's no life left in that. It's just gone. Um, same here. They're just going absolutely limp. I don't think there's anything to recover from them. I don't know, and it's sad because they were fruiting out already. And um, we chose them because they were all fruiting out. I know everybody's going to say, ah, it's your fault, or ah, we told you so, or we warned you, but we waited till after the holiday. We're later than most people were. But oddly, nowhere else did they get a freeze in town, just seven miles away. Nobody heard of a freeze. Look who's here. Baby cat. Are you happy? Huh? Did baby love in the outdoors? Felix is terrified of the outdoors and baby just begs to go out all the time. Melanie has laundry going and I'm over here enjoying the sun in between periods of rain. It's very odd. I'm putting on netting. Uh, chicken wire. See what I'm doing here is coming up a few inches and stapling it on here and then the uh, siding is going on and that'll really hold that in and then I've got boards to hold it down on the ground so I don't think anything is going to get under that. That's a long way into tunnel to get into the chickens. Plus I'll have electric fence around the outside as well. Then up in here I've been working. I've got both windows in. And I've closed off, I still have to secure them, but I've closed off the gaps in the rafters using scrap wood all on both sides. And that'll help. Uh, it does help. It makes a huge difference in here. And then on the bottom, I've run boards around. They're not fastened, they're just wedged in place. They're cut to fit tight, and they're wedged in place, and then that stops the draft from coming up underneath. I didn't want to fasten them. Because I'm not sure yet, I don't want water getting into them and then absorbing into the framing of the chicken coop through that. So I'm not quite sure how I want to do this, but for now, that's going to do the job. That'll keep the chickens safe and uh, keep them from getting out, the baby chicks. And also keep the uh, draft, the wind from blowing in here. And it is, it is uh, hugely different in here with that closed up and that closed up. So, uh, it's going to be alright. So anyway, I'm going to finish outside on the chicken wire and then the birds will be able to stay out here tonight, I think. Alright, I got the chicken wire down on three sides, but I ran out. I did the corners too. I miscalculated. I only had literally enough for three sides. So the front is not done. So, for tonight, I'll probably prop up boards up against the front of the chicken coop for safety. I'll have to put boards all the way along here to stop anything from getting in tonight. And I'll probably still run the electric fence out here as well right away so that it has, so they have some protection. But, that's a start. 
Now I have a door. Smoothly opening and closing door. Closes flush. And I've got to get the latch for it now. And then I'm going to put uh, trim inside to sort of seal it and stop it from pushing inwards too far, which will wreck the hinges because the wind is already trying to work on it. Let's go inside and see how it looks. Um, still got, oops, it got, it got cloudy as I come in. Oh well, shows you worst case scenario. And still there's enough light in here to see by. Um, think the chickens will be okay. They'll be able to see what they're doing and scratching. And there's no drafts in here. It's quite cozy warm in here now. So, I'm satisfied so far. I gotta get the siding on. And uh, I am gonna put a porch overhang over this. It'll be cute. And that'll be built with, uh, with rafters. And framed in nicely. And probably with some posts on each corner. One in each corner to hold it up. And then somebody suggested window boxes, which I really like. Because I'm going to trim out the windows nicely. And I think it'll be really good here. Uh, the next step is going to be probably the tar paper on the outside. I'll have to remove the windows, tar paper, everything. And then uh, put the windows in. I'm going to have some trim around the windows and then start doing the siding. For now, we got to get the birds in here. Each day I'll bring them out when it's warm enough into the uh, fresh air outside. And each night, or when it's cold, they'll come in here. Yeah, there he is. With, uh, see the sun shining outside? Can't really see out the window. Okay, which I suggest. Now the sun is shining and we got decent light in here. That's okay. Well guys, still working on Chicken Mansion 2017. I have a table over my metal trash cans. Now those cans hold the chicken feed and keep rodents out and other critters. And then the table is not going to be fastened to tabletop so I can remove it. I might just hinge it and then put a little rope and a fastener here, a little hook. Then I can reach in and get the chicken feed as needed and of course that's a daily job, but on top of there I can just toss on the pine shavings or whatever. And uh, I'm thinking now, because I can just quickly pull that off, get to the chicken feed once a day, not a big deal. Hook that up, and I'm thinking about putting my cabinet here, right above that. And I can latch this onto the bottom of the cabinet, have my cabinet over here, and then I don't have anything in the way for my headspace when I walk in. And that'll give me a nice uh, area for the cabinet, which will then hold the uh, water containers and extra accessories, whatever, you know. So I think next I'll build the cabinet in there. And of course everything I add strengthens the structure even more. Not that I don't think it needs it, but somebody said I needed cross bracing. Well, slowly I'm getting cross bracing. And once I get the nesting boxes in there too, that'll be some serious cross bracing. And then the cabinet up here in the corner. So I think this is how it's going to be. I think I like this. Um, hinge that right there in that back wall. Be able to latch it up like that. I can easily access that. I can easily dump seed in, uh, feed in there as needed. And then plenty of space for cabinets above. I like it. So it's going to be pretty cool. And like I said, the pine shavings can go on there. Coming along well. Now I can get my chicken feed in here and the pine shavings and get it out of the uh, front porch. I've had it on the porch to keep critters away as good as we could so we can at least monitor it. The um, trash cans were in the garage and had stuff in them from our move from pine bush still. I just emptied them tonight, today.